Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to Rope for Mechanic Simulator. Um. Um. Oh, that door. I remember to look at the panel first, though. Anyway, so let us see what's up next. Curiosity, 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 and perseverance. Hmm, let's start with curiosity. Hey, my name is Victor. I'm the lead manager of the analysis department. We've just finished analyzing samples acquired by this rover, and it seems that only half of them were, were I was ionized properly. Would you be so kind to check what's causing such a curious problem? Ah, it sounded better in my head. Anyway, you know what to do. He tried a pun. So, let's grab this huge crate and, uh... Let's grab the crate and see what's wrong. All right. Oh, whoa, okay. This curiosity is in sorry shape. I wonder if these are all things we're going to have to fix in the future. Um... Objectives, repair the rover, preliminary analysis. Okay. But yeah, she's in sorry shape. Anyways, let's um, get this APX off thing off. Let's see what needs to be fixed. We just take the thing apart. Alright, looks like we're taking this thing off. And the APX source is coming out. Oh man, there's a lot of little uh, pieces that need to come out for this thing. Um, kind of wish we were zoomed in a little bit more on this thing. And can we take anything else apart? No. So let us see what needs to be replaced. Warehouse. We need the APXS source and the cooler. AP... APXS. We need the cooler and the sources? Yep, perfect. Well, let's wait for that last piece to come out. I hope we don't have to fix some. Um, I'm wondering. I'm definitely wondering if they're breaking up all these other components into um, future missions. That we can slowly see this thing coming together into red. That is that that unit looks like it's heavy. Well, there we go. Insert the cooler. The x-ray detector. And the sources. And, okay, the contact sensor is last. There we go, that looks right. Let's stick this piece back on. What's it do, anyways? It stands for Alpha Particles X-Ray Spectrometer. This device is used to analyze and identify the chemical composition of soils and rocks by the use of alpha particles and X-rays. Curiosity's APXS differs from the one used during the Pathfinder and MER missions. The spectrometer mounted on Curiosity is a Canadian... Go Canada! Uh, <laughs> I am Canadian, for those who aren't aware. Um... Canadian made device accompanied by nine other scientific instruments that together make for a great scientific laboratory. 
As much as the main principle stays the same, the new spectrometer is considerably more precise and easier to operate. Canada, um, Canada Space Program is mostly robotics related. Like if you look at the, um, not the, that thing's not fixed yet. It is not fixed yet, so I guess we have to take a. Uh, let's let's take this side apart and see what's going on. But can, uh, the can, the big arm the shuttle uses to grab onto things that was made by Canada. It even has the Canadian flag on it. Although a lot of promo shots of the shuttle like to carefully position the arm so you can't see the Canadian flag on it. You actually have to actually it like every time I go to find a photo, it's not. It's never the first shot. I just gotta go a few shots down to find pictures of the arm. Oh look, a circuit board needs to be fixed. Alright, let's go see what's wrong with the circuit board. Alright, the resist let's Let's replace both resistors. Why not? We're in here. We're uh, replacing units. And what is it? It's, we need two resistor E's. And this time I'm going to remember to switch to electronics. I can spell resistor. We need two E's. Yeah, Canada doesn't really have any um, way of getting to space. We entirely rely on piggybacking other programs and helping out through robotics. Just a quick check that I put the right ones in. Perfect. Now the little unit should be fixed. Hopefully. And vibration springs next. There. Now let's make sure. Okay, now it's fully repaired. I like how we just kind of float upwards to put this thing back on. And screw it back on. All right, that should be it for this uh, order. Oh, I forgot to restart the drivers. Derp. Um, that's on me. Okay, let's keep going. Hi, it's Jazz. Ooh, are we gonna get a new present? Uh, it's Jasmine again. During the last mission, we got caught in a little sandstorm. The rover wasn't hurt much. Except for the mast. P.S. Norman suggested you can check on the OCM. He suspects it's leaking. Uh, P.S. 2 is... P.S. 2... Oh, per, postscript 2. It is only me or Norman really has been behaving weird since we got this new Curiosity rover. He constantly stares at its wheels, especially the one on the right side. Okay... And let's see what's going on with Norman.
Okay. Well, um, not sure what Norman is staring at, but let's get these units off and fix them up. Alright, this time we're definitely not going to try reprinting the set no matter how much resources we save. So, the OCM tray. The organic reference material. Uh, so here's a block of organic check material. It's made of silica and it contains synthetic fluorinated organic comp materials, which are non-present on Earth and presumably on Mars as well. Okay, not sure what that would do. Oh, you know, while we're here, let's take that thing out as well, and, uh... Oh, we forgot to set, recycle our old, other components. So let us... We're gonna need... Three organic reference. Okay, now let's start taking apart the mast. All right, it is the Mast R web cover. Okay, um, that's an easy fix if it's just the cover that needs to be replaced. Uh, so Mast R web. Mast R web. Let's replace that. Oh, we did get another present from Jasmine. I need to look up what these presents are, though. You figure they'd end up on the shelf over here. Yeah, I'm not sure what these gifts are. Alright. Oh, we need to put these things back together first. Now, if we go in here... Oh, mast is okay, I assume. You know, I kind of want to fully repair the mast. Damn. Done. Now, let's... Yeah, like I said, let's fully repair that mast. What was the other part that needs to come off? Um, the nav cam. And this R EMS first boom. Rover my environmental monitoring station. Its main job is monitoring weather conditions around the rover and producing daily and season reports that feature detailed information about Mars' soil temperature, atmospheric temperature, and pressure humidity, and even UV radiation. Okay. The first boom can be come apart more. Okay. Uh, the wind sensor is what needs to come off. And, okay. Now that we have these parts, uh, we can't just replace the nav cam. We can't refix up the nav cam, can we? No. So, let's print it first. Nav cam. I think it's the yellow one. And then we have the wind sensor. And finally, 
I think that'll be it. There. Perfect. Now let's put these things back on the mast. And that should be it for these units. This thing looks way heavier than us just, you know, casually lift it. Now, let's put these things back on and see what's, uh... How are we drilling these things? It doesn't really explain that. Like, this one makes sense, because you can kind of see where the screws are, and you can extrapolate where the ones on the back are. Oh. All right. Now, we are not going to forget to reset the drivers this time. And complete order. Perfect. Oh, here's an expensive one. Uh, good day, sir. It's Norman. Oh, that's the guy who's staring at the thing. I'm preparing to send this vehicle on a new mission. This time it's roving to the newly discovered cave called Pan Twardowski, I think is how you'd pronounce that. Sci-fi equipment on the rover seems to work just fine, but the batteries tend to run out of energy every time we try to establish communication with the vehicle. See what's causing the problem and fix it. As always, it's crucial for the wellness of the mission. Alright, now before I start doing anything on the rover, let's get rid of all these junk components. And let's get the battery on. Oh, first we gotta find the battery. No idea where the battery would be stored in this thing. I think underneath, actually, now that I think about it. I think we've seen the battery in the last episode when I opened up the bottom to have a look. Suddenly, it's in much better condition. Oh, that's for premium service. If you're doing a premium service, they expect you to get all that stuff up. And let us I'll get rid of all these little screws. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I yeah, everything seems to be working. Okay, my had to step away, and my mic got un and my headset got unplugged. Yeah, 
There we go. Let's see. Battery is... Oh, okay. Um, there, that battery is not just the issue. This radio unit is also in rough shape. There. Now, can we? Do we have to just replace the batteries, or can we fix them? Oh, the battery we have to replace. This unit we can fix up. Now, can we just trash the battery? Yes, we can. Okay. The electrolyte A and the battery. Electra light A and the battery. I wonder if Jasmine's gifts are just parts. That would make sense. Those tiny screws don't seem like they'd fo oh, hold the thing in place. Oh, there's the, that, that's where it went. There. Now we have a battery we can put in as well. Yeah, that's definitely not the appropriate size container for a battery. We still have a hundred, over a hundred thousand resource units for pr printing. For an expensive fix, my uh, saving all the resource saving things we've done probably helped with that. I wonder how much resources it would take to fully print a rover, like all the individual components. We might have to find out at some point. There. Now we'll lower the rover and we will uh, reset the drivers. There. That calibrate automatically button is my favorite thing. Perfect. And we still have a bit of time, so let's do order ID LQAABX1. Hey, it's Victor again. We've just finished a 20 soul mission, and to our surprise, everything almost went great. Well, except for the atmospheric greetings. According to them, we've been conducting research in a tropical forest for the last seven souls, which is wrong to say the least. Just take care of this. We trust you. Should you, though? Should you really trust me? Like, I know I've been great up to the limit, what if I get upset because you guys aren't giving me gifts like Jasmine does? Well, of course, it's the mast again, the unit that looks way heavier than it's represented in game. Well, not that any of these parts are listed as having mass, really show mass. Especially with the way it's like the rovers and stuff will just f float if you take half. Well, especially on the table, will just float if you take half their legs off. This unit and make. Wait a minute. Oh, for a second there, I thought something up there was red. All right, I just replaced these things.
So I replaced that one. Oh wow, this thing is just utterly broken. If we didn't learn our lesson from not from uh, all the sets we've had to take off and not able to recycle, um, I would just print the whole unit. All right, now what needs to be replaced? We need wind sensors, relativity, human sensors, and ground temperature setting sensors. All right, if I just type in sensor, what do I get? Sensor. Uh, oh, relative humidity sensor, ground temperature sensor, and a uh, wind sensor is, I think, the parts we needed. If not, we'll have printed off a few extra parts by mistake. Looks kind of weird without the top mast now that I look at it. One more. Okay, there is one more. Coming out just now. Map. Let us fix this guy up. Ground temperature sensors. Perfect. Next we have this thing. Relative humidity. These things are all fairly self-explanatory in what they do. They detect wind, they detect humidity, etc., etc. And bam. Perfect. And that'll be that for this. Uh, this will be that for that episode. Eh, English in the correct order. That will be all for this episode of Rover Mechanic Simulator. We are just going to calibrate, finish up, and that'll be it. I'll actually I'll recycle the parts on camera. So, such riveting footage. Bam! Done. Let's recycle some parts. And there we go. That'll be it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.